Hey everybody, it's me again, Fitz, acupuncturist out of Miami, Florida. So, one thing that as acupuncturists that we go through with patients is that so sometimes we have to explain to patients exactly what acupuncture is and how beneficial it is without scaring them off. Because every time we, every time we mention acupuncture needles to patients, some of them take off running. But I try to tell them that acupuncture does not hurt. Some points may be more intense, but it actually does not hurt. So I was doing some research online on how the best way to communicate with the patients and to collaborate with them. And I saw this wonderful journal online right now. It's called the um, Integrating Medical Acupuncture into Family Medicine Practice Journal, um, A A A A F P, and and they came up with some you know solutions. Okay, for, um, for instance, for instance, we're trying to con we're trying to convince new patients to try acupuncture. You know, I could say something like, um, you know, this journal says avoid using technical terms like. I'm going to stick this needle into your gallbladder 41 and into your spleen 6. Because if I say it that way, it's going to come off like, whoa, you're going to stick a needle well? But this general rec uh, recommends saying it another way. Hey, you know, this, this, this particular point is going to help with your migraines or help with your sciatica. Okay, so again, instead of telling the patient, I'm going to, I'm going to stick this needle in your gallbladder 41, I could just say no. This needle is going to be inserted into an acupuncture point that is going to help your migraines or help your your condition that you're here for. So I think that's very very beneficial. Okay. Um, also, this article also says avoid using negative terms. You know, this, you know, this might hurt. When a patient asks me, does the acupuncture hurt? I tell them no, it does not hurt. I tell them some points may be more intense than others, but acupuncture should not hurt. Okay, so this is a very good article, um, or, or journal, I should say, and it, and it, it's basically very effective, you know. Um, so it also says carefully use or avoid. So acupuncture falls on the TCM, which stands for traditional Chinese medicine. So this article also says try to avoid certain TCM terms because I know what they are, but the average person does not know. The, you know TCM terms okay so instead of saying you know we're going to try a treatment called dragons in which we move energy to remove blah 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 they said avoid using those terms say in more layman terms so the patient can understand like the acupuncture treatment is going to help settle your body and your mind see by saying it that way it tells the patient oh okay it's actually more it's easy for them to understand than to say i'm gonna put the points to circle the dragon this and that <laughs> okay so anyway this is a very good on um journal like i said I, and i believe it's um it's called this one more time it's called integrating medical acupuncture into family medicine practice um aafp all right so so cool. I'm I'm gonna leave the link below this video and tell me what you think. Okay, so I'm all, I'm all trying to improve the communication with my patients and to collaborate with them the best way because at the end of the day, it's all about getting the patients as healthy as possible, as balanced as possible, right? So let me know what you think below about this. Have you tried acupuncture before? Are you willing to try acupuncture? Right, right. Okay, so please let me know. All right, bye bye.